Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Wizardry 7, Crusaders of Dark Swamp. So playing the D Forte balance mod, we completed Orc Ogre Castle, where all the Gorns are, and I basically walked down a path and kind of wandered around in the wilderness. So didn't do too much grinding offline. We're level 9 and 10 on the party members. And I do have Asphyxiate now on the Alchemist, Asphyxiation, which is a fantastic spell. It's an instant kill spell that hits all enemies. And uh, if they fail their air resistance, then they're dead. So, well, they have to pass the death resistance too. So those spells aren't quite as strong in my mind. The higher the level of the enemy, the less likely they are to work. So. All right, so I was uh, just got done fighting some monsters, some treants. So let's see what direction I went last time. Okay. So I did not go this way. Let's see where we're going. Kind of came around through the woods. Yeah, so I missed part of that path. You can see down here. I went through the woods like this and came up around that side. So let me explore the rest of this path. There we go. We'll go back this direction now. Explore the woods a little bit. I think this may be leading to the Trang base, but I'm not sure. Ah, NPC. Oh boy. Uh, too bad I don't have charm. Let's hope we can make him happy. Ah! Oh no, <laughs> he became angry. Okay, make the pick. That's the way you want to play it? That's the way we're going to play it. So I can cast, wow, I can cast up to level 5 Asphyxiate. Let's do 4. And we'll try to blind him. He's probably really resistant is my guess. Hey, Zomble, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Us! Power 4 killed him. Nice. Only one thief left. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going next, Zomble. I'm thinking this might be the road to Terrain Base. But I do not have the map memorized so I'm not sure okay Mick the pick's dead <clears throat> pewter key thought I had one of these no nope, he must have used it Oh, I had an iron key. Okay. Someone has bread rolls. There they are. Throwing knives. Short bow. These are probably bite dirks. Ah, poison throwing knives, okay. Nice. Fighter's still throwing jab ones. And I found a heater shield. She's using that in her offhand. Hey, Darianne, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? 
I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm not going to look at the map unless I get totally lost, Zomble. I'm trying to explore it uh, based on my bad memories. <laughs> yes, I did finish o Orc Ogre Castle. Yep. We got, uh, let me try and think if I got anything worth describing. So I did find the temple map there. What else? I found that heater shield. Oh, I found a gem of power, which I'm trying to debate on whether I want to use that or not. I believe it gives the power strike skill. So I probably should use it instead of having the minus two armor class. I have to figure out who I want to give that to. Um, I found an angel hat. Which casts blank. And gives some resistances. I don't need this anymore. And looks like that's about it. Okay. So yeah, let me save it and then figure out who I want to give that to. Hmm. I mean, the fighter's already going to be good enough. She doesn't really need that. I think I'm going to give it to the ranger. Yep, there we go. Power strike four. Okay. So now he can equip something. He probably has something extra. Let's see. Ring of Resounding. He, he can equip that. There we go. Nice. Power strike to the monk, maybe, Darian says. Or is he going to be shooting? Um, he's going to be shooting, and so is the ranger, but for the most part. that It doesn't matter too much, though, to be honest. Okay. I'm going to be switching back and forth. I typically do that when I play. I don't stick with just one weapon type. I, I vary it quite a bit. Get more training in and stuff. Oh, I don't have my any of my adventure spells going here. I need to do that. Oh, Breeze Acid. Would have cast Magic Screen had I known. Magic Screen, all right. Let's do some healing. Good old Acid Bomb. Yeah, I'm hoping I get a really good crossbow for the monk. And he may even throw later if I get some Death Stars and stuff like that. Okay, let's do some resting.
Oh, okay. Definitely want to conjure here. And Wanda. Let's see if you can silence them. I still have a charge left on that. Hopefully the initiates. Two skeleton lords we summoned. Ah, oh, fizzled. Uh oh. Slow. Double slow. <laughs> Triple slow. Okay. That uh, couldn't have gone better. <laughs> Okay, Alchemist is awake. Sanity, there we go. Asphyxiation, pretty good effect there. <laughs> There we go. Nice. So the Wilders are kind of weak. They didn't really cast any spells. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> On priest. There we go. Okay, so power seven magic screen, power seven enchanted blade. Excellent. Let me just take take this path, see where we go. Yeah, I believe this might be the train base which will be great if it is yes okay this is an extremely hard area for level 9 and 10 party uh, but i can open up the teleporter if i do this right The Watchers. Decaying state of ruin. Just the way the train like it. <laughs> okay. Let's see, we'll try to just silence these two with the scroll. Blind. I'm hoping the asphyxiation just kills them all. Nice. That made it easy. Oh, 
Alchemist is super strong right now. I think I'm just going to attack. Do one blind. None were blinded. Arian says, did you do something to the resting rate or is that just high piety? Um, it is high piety, but I'm also running at 11,000 clock cycles in DOSBox. And I believe that makes everything go faster with, when resting. Ah, is, oh, nice. It's Lieutenant Grunt Rapper. I actually have some money here, too. Let's see if he's selling anything. So he's selling pretty much the same things he was before. Yeah, I don't think I want to spend any money on this stuff. The question is, do we have anything we want to sell him? Yes, we do. But yeah, your uh, caster level and your piety makes a difference with in this mod with how quickly you get spell points back. Okay, I don't think I'll buy that yet. <laughs> Should have done a lower. I love how you can pretty much explore things in whatever order you want. Not everywhere, but a lot of locations you can. That's what's so great about Wizardry 7. Ran amok. Six. Hmm. I don't think they're going to shoot. I don't know if they cast ice spells or not. I'll go ahead and do an ice shield just in case. And then let's do a Level four asphyxiation. Wanda, what do you have? Uh, 
toxic bomb. Try to blind this group. Do an insanity. All right. Let's see what asphyxiation does. Oh, it only killed maybe five. That's still better than nothing. But this is going to be rough. Oh, they do shoot. Okay, we got a young Mix Malix. Uh, Darian says, don't go to Dane Tower yet, though. This place is going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be rough. There's quite a few places that would be rough. Uh-oh. Fighter's paralyzed. I'll be surprised if I can survive this. Heal. Missile shield. Okay, let's try asphyxiation again. We'll try power five. <laughs> There's a chance I'm gonna back pirate, but I'm probably screwed anyway. Uh, let's see, yeah, bite. She cast insanity. Okay, that's not, oh, fizzled. Fizzled. No. We got a missile shield. Not helping. Runs amok. There we go. Come on. Paralyze. No. Oh. Okay. What next? Heal all. Granger. Velma, you can try <clears throat> asphyxiation power two. May get through and kill a couple. Pierce. Yeah, you don't have anything. Haste. Screams. Asphyxiation, come on. Nope, killed nothing. Toxic Cloud's doing pretty good. Okay, there's only one Technic left. Good, they're attacking the Mix Lemonix. Sambal says, maybe go to Monkarama and put that temple map to use. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to clear this, a lot of this area first. I like going here first because then I can teleport and have the teleporter the whole game. No, my bishop does not have enough swimming yet. Darian, he needs another level. And then if I get three bonus points, I think I need three in that area to then have enough. So we'll see. I don't know if that'll happen. Sometimes I've only been getting one or two points in that area when I level up. So I have not had the best, best of luck with that. Hmm. Let's see, there's four of those. Let's get an acid bomb going. There we go. Okay, finally I took out the last Technic. Man. 
Yeah, it is potentially three levels if I got a one each time. Yep. Zamble says sometimes if you're lucky, you can swim one square even with less than 10 points. Yeah, I don't think I've had that. <laughs> I think you have to have good vitality, but I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure of that. Uh, no, I did not forget to put points in it. I wanted to get my oratory up higher. Because the strategy I'm playing, I mean, you got you guys have to admit this is a really hard strategy having casters up front. So <laughs> I need all the skills I could get uh doing this. So that's why I waited. And I didn't have to get swimming early, you know, you can go there later. So I wasn't that worried about it. Okay, Tron. Let's do another whirlwind. Heal. Velma doing acid bomb. The clouds are going to take these over for sure. And just fight. The summon is helping a lot too. Dancing. <laughs> fireball I can do and a whipping rocks okay this should be a good round <laughs> now he's running Man, these keepers. There we go. This should be a ton of experience. 28,000. Oh, yeah. Nice. Level 10 monk. All right, do I want to start working? Yeah, let's do throwing. This one means 10, so I don't need to raise that anymore. Let's put three in that and one there. It's Theosophy, I think he gets a spell this level, maybe? Oh no, it's the next level, that's okay. He should start getting a higher level spell next time. Wow, that was rough. He survived. Oh, she's sleeping. Nice. Okay. This area is so hard, I'm actually going to switch my fighter back to 
the Belgus arm for now. And the Ranger is going to switch back to Spike Spear. So we know the Technics shoot, so let's get a Missile Shield going. Um, Velma, I guess we'll try Asphyxiation. We'll do Power 4. Let's try to blind some of those. Flash powder. And then do a blinding flash on these. And sanity on them. Okay, here we go. Man. Okay, so the garters pretty much got killed by asphyxiation, but the rest survived. Running the muck. Let's do a whirlwind and a heal. And let's get a really good acid bomb on those. Okay. Prismic Ray. Didn't do anything. There we go. I'm starting to think Missile Shield doesn't work against Phaser Bolts. So far it hasn't deflected it at all. Ah, there, <laughs> Darian just asked, are phaser bolts considered as missiles for resistance? Because I'm not seeing any deflections. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I think you're right. For some reason, they're not considered missiles. I'm not sure what they're considered. I, oh, you know what? I can actually look at the damage type. Let me see something here. Um, this is a Technic. Let's see what it is. Ah, it's considered a thrust. It's a thrust attack, which explains why it's not uh, being deflected. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. Falls unconscious. Haha, <laughs> turned it to stone. That guy's done.
Come on, find a rod. No rod, but 21,000 experience. Okay, here, moment of truth, guys. Am I going to get enough skill points? No! I got one skill point. <laughs> the physical. Oh my gosh. Oh, one more. One more level. That's all I need. <laughs> Actually, with eight, I think with nine it'll work. Because when I step onto the square, it boosts your skill level. Then it processes... So I think he's good. He should be able to swim. <laughs> okay. So, priest spell. Cure paralysis is probably useful. Her armor plate. I don't have armor plate. That's what I need. <laughs> No, I think we're good, guys. I know even though we're one point short, the way it works is with nine, you step on the square, it boosts it to ten, then it tests it, see if you have enough swimming. <laughs> so it'll work. Armor plate, yes. That's one of the adventure spells I'm missing. That is funny, though. <laughs> it was just one point. Yeah, I, the reason why I know I'm right is because I tested that before, Darian. And that's how it worked. Okay. But shoot, I mean, I may be a higher level before I even make it there. <laughs> Okay, now we got all kinds of adventure spells. So, power six armor plate. And by the way, in the mod, this la latest version, which I haven't pushed to the public yet, um, all adventure spells are 100 per power level, time, time wise, um, including levitation and all the. You know, goofy ones direction. So they last a lot longer now. Because levitation is so useless. It's way too short. Red emblem. I don't know if I can walk through this door yet. Oh, I can. Okay. Okay, Savant Troopers, I think they're the ones with the laser spears. So let's summon a distraction. Shrill sound. Toxic cloud seems to work pretty well on them. Three vultures. Oh, they have the stun lances, okay. Yeah, I swapped the laser spear and the pain stick. Pain stick's a lot weaker than the laser spear. These are the paralyzing ones, so let's take care of them quickly. Okay, these are the weak ones. Oh, 
and a black dragon. Okay. Control center is filled with a vast complex of machines and blinking boxes, also present as a garrison of the Savant Guardians, some of which seem to be busy working at the equipment. As you enter the room, one of them flees into an adjoining chamber, while the rest advance to engage. Controller. He's the one I probably need to worry about. Hmm. Actually, let's try deadly poison. Unaffected. You got a fear, oh. Oh, they cast dazzling lights. Uh oh. Oh, Granger's turned to stone. <laughs> that was so terrible. Basically destroyed my whole party. Turned to stone, another guy died. Well, let's see if we can kill him. And I'll probably have to reload. I did get the Fiero. Asphyxiation worked on two of them. Wow, unaffected by lightning. Holy moly. 37 damage. Oh, it's because it's paralyzed. Unaffected. <laughs> Hypnotic lure. Probably, yeah, paralyzed my whole party. Look, so all I can do is start fighting. Let's see if the Fiero can take him out. Not if he keeps... Oh, the Firestorm got him. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to reload that. And man, that guy needs to be worth more experience than that. What the? Yeah, let's boost that a little bit. That's why I do these playthroughs. Okay. I, instead of 30,000 experience, I made them worth uh, 40,000, so I, I boosted it by about 25%. There he is. Okay. Hmm. Dazzling Lights is a, uh, I believe that's light resistance. I don't have any protection from that. 
Try a power seven conjure. Try to fizzle it. We can try a lifesteal on him, it's probably not going to work. Nope. Suffocate only worked on one. And more than half my party's paralyzed. Okay, man, he is super magic resistant. Uh, that won't work. Uh oh. Hey, Granger's invisible. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't boost experience too much on enemies. I was level 29 when I finished your mod, and I didn't do any grinding. Yeah, but. It depends on what you're going for, Darianne. Level 29, you you would have no chance of killing the Goros monsters, you know, with level 29. So, um, yeah, and I haven't boosted much more than what I already boosted. But when I see something like that that's blatantly imbalanced with the rest of the experience, then I have to boost it. <laughs> But yeah, level 29, that's not that high, to, to be honest, to beat the game. Um, and depending on what kinds of strategies you have, you know, doing weird things, it, it just gives you more options without having to grind all the time. You know, so I think overall, I've probably boosted experience by about, if you consider all monsters that you could face, Probably by about 20%. That's my guess. Maybe even a little bit less than that. So it's not it's not that big of a difference. Okay, let's see here. I need some major healing. Let's get an acid bomb. It's going to all be down to my summon, whether it can take out this Savant controller or not. Oh, nice. We got it. With straight melee damage. Prismic Ray. Nice. Seven thousand. Okay. That's more like it.
Yeah, and by the way, the alchemist can now cast the in learn and cast the invisible spell. It's a level five spell. Ooh, Dane cannons. Not sure about these. I think what I'm going to do is silence. And then try to summon an illusion from a scroll. These will drive insane. There we go. Fizzled the illusion. One's insane. Okay, good. Silence worked on those. Uh, invisible only works on the caster, Darian. Yes. Basically, the alchemist, whoever's casting it, will turn invisible and they're hiding. So it's similar to the hide effect that rogues have. Only I believe it's stronger. Like they can uh, they can remain hidden longer and have a greater chance. Even performing actions. Uh, but it's a level 5 spell, so it's pretty high level so and it's a an air base spell so yeah I made that available to uh, alchemists to give them a slight boost on their number of spells because they were lower than everybody else by I think three and it helps balance out the magic schools a little more too normally you could only get become invisible from items like invisible potions Okay, I think I'll silence these as well. And then let's try an asphyxiation. Oh, nice. Worked. Scroll. That <laughs> direction. That's not too useful. Never know, though. I might get lost, so I'll hang on to it. Uh. Oh man, it's not good. Hmm. I don't really want to waste a turn on armor melt. I don't think this works well on keepers, to be honest. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to do an acid bomb instead. This is where draining cloud would be much better. But I picked asphyxiation. Okay. Try to blind these. Make these go insane. There we go. <laughs> yeah, direction is very useful in darkness areas. You're right there. Oh. 
Hey Joshua, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Oh, you just finished the previous episode, huh? <laughs> and then you're right, right back to another one. So we're in the train area now. Huge difficulty spike <laughs> and increase for me here. Okay. They're blinded, so I'm not as worried about them. Let's do Whirlwind. I do need to heal the monk. Thelma. Get an acid bomb there. And spiked. Hopefully, his Fiero is going to help. Burn those evil spider things, yeah. Oh, I just backfired Whirlwind. Monk's gonna die. Wow. Killed myself, guys. That's... And I didn't even cast it at the highest power level. I casted it one level below that. How can you backfire one level below? That's what I want to know. Oh, let me see if I have to know this. Let me take a screenshot of that. Might be of some importance. You hastily scribble it down. Oh, okay. You're just finishing up a seven class change cycle on your elf. Next stop, alchemist, then ranger. Seven class cycle change? So you're just trying to make like a super character that is like every class? That's interesting. Okay, armor plate. Enchanted blade, magic screen. Several more of the dread savants. Oh, wow, three controllers. This is bad news. Uh, I really need to summon something. Uh, I'm going to do an asphyxiate. Try to blind. And try some insanity. died. That's it. Flash powder did nothing. That guy's too slow with the heat shield. Oh. 
Okay. Joshua says, I like having dual spell books and making Kirijitsu. Alchemist regen with mage spells is great in Wizardry 6. Oh, you're playing 6. Okay. Gotcha. Are you playing the vanilla version or are you playing my mod? Ranger. Hate to waste that turn healing, but I have to. I finally got a fire shield, but it's way too late. One controller down. Uh, you're using a map mod? You're not force sensitive like Biogu? Oh, it's just the trooper left. Nice. Nice. This will be a lot of experience. 26,000. Magic seems to have vanished from the puzzle, puzzling boxes. Okay, save before we get encountered again. <laughs> Fire sticks. Okay. Spider still not healed. There we Okay, we got our adventure spells. Top of one of the table stations, you find a small ignomatic object whose purpose you cannot imagine. The X coder. Hmm. 
<laughs> he's just wandering right in the Trang base. That's hilarious. Because, you know, the Humpani and the Trang don't get along very well together. What are you doing here, grunt rapper? <laughs> same old, same old, huh? All right, I'll go ahead and buy your breastplate. Lower. Okay. Oops. Joshua says, who's your favorite NPC race in Wizardry 7? You can pick different ones for different reasons. Mine is the Monk for the style or the Mpani respect. Hmm. I'd say probably for me it would be the Hagardi. They have the technology. They bring a technology aspect to the game. So do the Trang, which is kind of cool. But the Trang are kind of annoying with their dialogue. So I'll just answer the Hagardi. I like the uh, style of the Dane, too. They're pretty creepy. That's interesting. We came out the back, back way, or we went all the way through. I don't know if I can go in here. Okay, these are just guards. Should kill them pretty easily. encountered as soon as I finished that. Hmm. Don't like this. Fixation for the win there. Joshua says, yeah, the Dane are weird, but well written and tie into why others dislike them. Helps the world building, yeah. Too bad all the races didn't make it into Wizardry 8.
Oops, that was the wrong spell. Okay, let's see what we got. Throwing knives. Stink bomb. Zumble says Dane, Monk, Gorn are local to Guardia. So not in Wizardry 8. Yeah, but the um, Hagardi come to Wizardry 8. I guess they have flying machines. The Ratkins. The Ratkins are in Wizardry 8. And they're native to this planet. So... It's good thoughts, but no, there's some inconsistencies there. Okay. Uh, Joshua says, I've never played Wizardry 8. How is it? It's actually my favorite out of the series. I've played 4 through 8, and 8's the best, in my opinion. Okay. Wonder... I have a few keys. Let's see if one of them will get us in here. I have a review on 8 in case you want to see it and learn more about it. Nice, the pewter key opened it. I Actually, I've reviewed Wizardry's 4 through 8. <laughs> oh man, this is rough. Yikes. What do we got? Uh, okay. None of these cast. Let's just do damage. Okay, here we go. Asphyxiation Power 5 killed a pretty good amount of them. Darian says, my favorite are the Impani. They used the Blunderbuss, which was a du Dutch invention. <laughs> So that's the whole reason why you like them. <laughs> In Wizardry 8, the Impani are kind of jerks. I don't really like them that much. They're better in 7. Insert the first shotgun, yeah. Man, that was a big battle. 30,000 experience. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're Dutch, so there's a bit of the chauvinism involved. That's funny. Oh, dang it. And my alchemist is asleep. And I have no protection on right now. That's not good. I woke up. Alchemist is awake now. I fizzled armor plate. Are you kidding me? Man. That's not good. There we go. Worked on some of them. Let's see. Better hit these. <laughs> no unconscious, dang it. Turn to stone, nice. <laughs> fighter Okay, nice. Port book. Screenshot of this.
<laughs> Another one. Are you kidding me? What? How many of these are there? crying out loud. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I didn't want to have to carry this book around with me everywhere. That's why I was taking screenshots. Wow. I'm going to do that again just so I can see how many there are. Seven. Oh, yeah, yeah, Should be about the last one. I think there was one or two more, maybe. Comments or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure, Zombol, if it... I feel like it dynamically changes sometimes. I don't think there's anything here, but I don't remember. Too bad they don't have a gold box type search where you can just enable it and then you search every time you step. Because searching is different than detect secrets. Ah, who's this? So I killed Mick the Pick earlier because he attacked me. So let's see if Ratsputin will truce with me. Nope, okay, see you later. Joshua says it does not change, just checked in the clue book, okay. All right, we need a B. 
big salmon. Suffocation killed maybe 30% of them. Insane, insane, blinded. Okay, technics are done. <laughs> That's funny. Darian says, seeing this, I want to get back to Wizardry 7, but I have so many other games to play. Yeah, I hear you. Well, just do what I do and mix them, you know? Play multiple games at the same time. Prismic Ray and Dazzling Lights are the only spells that can actually turn an enemy to stone that you can cast. Of course, you don't get to control that. It's random. But that's still pretty cool. Besides an item, of course, like Excalibur. Seven garters, okay, that's more like it. Marianne says, did you know that using a turn to stone flesh is considered a resurrection effect? Yeah, you do lose a point of vitality. The other funny thing is you can still be dead. Like you can be turned to stone and dead. <laughs> so then you have to resurrect them again. Then you'd lose two vitality points. 
Oh, we got a pull arm, guys. We got either a shock rod or a stun rod. Let's see, it's probably a shock rod. Yep. 4 to 13 damage, minus 2 to drain stamina. It's a little bit weak. Let me check out the Bilgus arm here. So the other was 4 to 13, so that's 8.5 damage on average. Minus 2, I think, to hit. This one does more damage. It's only minus 1 to hit. We can't see the initiative, that's the problem. But I'm pretty sure a shock rod probably has less initiative than the Bilgus arm. So yeah, I don't want to equip that. <laughs> Training stamina can be nice, but I think the shock rod. Man, let me see what chance it has of doing that. 50%. That's a pretty good chance. Okay, the initiative's minus five on the shock rod. The bill disarms minus three. So I do more damage with the bill disarm, but. Draining stamina could be useful, especially in a long fight. I'm gonna try it. Okay. Now, if it was a stun rod, I'd definitely clip that. Garters. Popcorn. Level 11 priest. Excellent. Eighty-five theology. I think I'm going to get purify error. Joshua says, I'm sorry, do weapons have separate initiatives? Also, does drain stamina return to you? Yes, each weapon type has different initiative on it. In Wizardry 7, 6 was not the case, but 7 and 8, they have initiatives. Yep. Uh, yeah, drain stamina is temporary. Yep. Drain hit points is permanent, though. That's what's weird. <laughs> I wish they would have used a different term. Like in Wizardry 8, when your hit points get drained, you can actually get them back with a potion of, a renewal potion it's called. 
But in six and seven, if something drains your hit points, it's permanent. So that's bad. But yeah, stamina drain in all of them is temporary. But what's good about it is if you drain the enemy's stamina down far enough, they fall unconscious. And when stamina gets to like 25% and maybe 10%, at certain levels, you start performing a lot worse with everything. So it does impact actions. Oh man. See, all of these can hit me because they're pull arm. In fact, these two groups are only going to be attacking my first three characters. That's what makes it rough having casters up front <laughs> like the way I've done it. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty good deaths. There we go. Level 11 Alchemist. So I'll probably get her Draining Cloud now. Oh, she has 100 Alchemy. I'm not sure if she can get a higher level spell just based strictly on this or if the level matters too. I can't remember. Looks like, yeah, it's it's based strictly on the skill. And there's invisibility that I was telling you about that Alchemist can get now. Okay, let's see, we already have good errors. Tsunami would be good, that actually does acid damage. And not many things are acid resistant. Boiling blood does really heavy damage to one target. Oh, Earthquake. I gotta get Earthquake. Earthquake does damage to all enemies. It is it is missile damage. So if something has missile shield or just resistant to missiles like Ratkins, then it doesn't work very well. It can resist, but yeah, let's do that. That's gonna be a big deal. Youngers. We'll, we'll test it out on the Youngers. So it looks like I can cast up to five. We'll do power four. This is going to be some heavy damage. 
<laughs> Those are really weak though. Okay. <laughs> we got the two finger rods, which we'll use to open some doors here. Funny thing is you don't know which one, like they're unique items. So they look the same based on the description, but they're not. One finger rod fits a particular door and another finger rod fits a different door. And I think there might be one more somewhere. Okay, these are weak. I don't think I really need to do much here. Power one asphyxiation may even kill them. Killed one. Okay. High chamber. So we got to go talk to the head boss. test <laughs> tell him I say to strike okay go now So we'll be able to teleport all the way back to New City from here. Menacing spider-like creature approaches you. I am Shredus. Nine feet tall. Yes. What word? He actually s said this.
Did you partake? Sure. So wants us to kill Rodan Lewar. Gold medallion. Okay. Ranger lost hit points. Oh boy, we're gonna have to reload that. Ranger's already weak enough. Inspect. Could be Sonic Bolt. Could be Stunner. The Stunner. Who cares? Okay, now we'll just rest. Get rid of the paralysis. <laughs> it's like half my, more than half my party is paralyzed. That is a long paralysis. There we go. Okay. There we go. So we're back in New City. This door is now unlocked. Now we go right back to the train fortress. That's why I like going here first. Okay. So let's go back out. Sambal says, is it necessary to do Mpani quests before training? I think you can get an item that you can use in the cameras later. No. No, you do not have to do the Mpani quest first. Remember what I used to get through that. Find the place of the rat man. Oh, so here. Here they're telling me which ways you have to move those stabs at the rack in place. So the fact that I have heard this, I'll just look it up in the guide when I get to that point. I don't want to take <laughs> that many screenshots. Okay. I think now I might be able to go through the door. Yeah, there we go. So there's an area in here where we can find a stun rod. I just have to figure out where that's at. Might be in here, actually.
Let's see how Earthquake does on him. Yep, they couldn't resist it. Toxic bombs, nice for my fighter. Earthquake power four. That should help a lot. Nice. Quit in just a couple minutes, guys. Ooh, nice, we got another form. Arianne says, so apart from hit point management, does this actually play different with the casters up front? Yes, because I'm using short-ranged weapons that only casters can use like this bishop's wand that's only for bishops. Um, later on, I'm hoping I'll find some good magic wands. There's In my mod, there's all kinds of different magic wands and stabs and things that only casters can use. So they'll be good at melee. Like right now, my wand and dagger is 89 on my alchemist. And some of those have actually pretty good effects. But uh, normally, you can never really use them because your party's in the back and they're short range so that's the main reason why i did this so once my casters run out of spell points in a battle especially a big battle they'll be able to use those items effectively in melee the other interesting thing about this is extended range weapons that enemies use in shooting they like to go after the back three so against those kinds of enemies this configuration is actually better because <laughs> these are my heavier hit point ones back here. So it, it's an interesting strategy. It's it's hard so far, but it, it's getting a lot better now. Another shock rod. I'm actually tempted to do like have another person use a shock rod. <laughs> Let's have the monk use one too. Then we'll be doing like double stamina drains. <laughs> That'll be interesting. And pretty soon, hopefully, I'll find a stun rod. That'll be even better. Okay. Yeah, here's here's where we can't get in without rod. I think like I said, I think there's another finger rod needed. Well that one worked. Good. But I don't know where I can find that one. I 
I could do that, but I'll probably backfire it. left. Earthquake for the win. Level 11 Ranger, nice. <laughs> And he gets a spell this level. Anything higher? Nope. Let's get... Let's get some earth going. Hey, here we go. Yeah, one of these is going to be a fun ride. There's actually a chance that you can find something else here, too. I'm going to show you guys. We'll see if we can do it. It's a low chance. I just want to show you it. Oh, I have to do the battle again. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. It takes too long. Well, anyway, it'll be a mystery for someone else to try to get. All right. So there's a shock rod. This is probably the stun rod. There we go. So this can paralyze and drain and does more, quite a bit more damage. So let's give that to fighter. Shock rod. Won't need now. And we have one more. Yep. Cool. All right, guys. Well, this is a good place to quit. Lots of progress. So uh, thanks for the chat. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time.